Yo, what's good everyone and happy new year. Welcome back to our first video of 2023 and it's about the Realme 10 Pro Plus. Now this is a pretty underrated smartphone, especially because it has a couple of really unique camera features that's perfect for street photography. And I've never seen any other device with these set of features. And if you don't believe me, the Realme 10 Pro Plus scored sixth place overall in MKBHD's best smartphone camera test. So it placed just behind the Galaxy S22 Ultra and even above the iPhone 14 Pro. And it even got second place in the value per dollar category behind the Pixel 6a and above the iPhone SE. So big thanks to Realme for sending this device out to me to create some content with. These are some of my favorite photos that I took with this phone. These are straight out of the camera using the built-in filters with no additional edits. I would love to start 2023 off strong. So before we get further into this video, please give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you wanna support my channel. Now let's get into those unique street photography features of the Realme 10 Pro Plus. Yo, what's good everyone? My name is Alex and I'm a street photographer based out of New York City. Recently, I've really been enjoying shooting with the Realme 10 Pro Plus because this phone is designed with street photography in mind. The highlight of the triple camera system is the 108 megapixel main camera and paired with really cool software features like street photography mode 3.0, this device is really awesome. Let's check out the street photography mode with the built-in filters. I love how in the street mode, you can easily switch between the 16 millimeter, 24 millimeter, and 50 millimeter lenses. Those three lenses are honestly my most used focal lengths, so I'm really happy to see that. You also get a bunch of filters, so your images can instantly look edited and stylized without wasting any time. Here I'm taking some street shots of this busy intersection, and the golden hour light is shining through the street. I'm using the Bay City filter and I like how it adds the blue tones to the shadows and it gives the overall image a more faded film look. For this next example, I'm using the historic building filter and I really love how it enhances the orange and blues to create that cinematic vibe. It works really well with my main subject in the scene. The street photography mode is also really useful for urban portraits. This location caught my eye because of the stairs and the graffiti, so I'm directing these two guys to try and capture a cool shot. I love playing around with the different filters and seeing how they affect the photo. Because each filter is different, they will all shift the colors and tones slightly differently to make the images look unique. Overall, these filters tie the image together to give it that street vibe. Here's another example where I have a group of people and I'm shooting with the 16 millimeter lens in street mode. Now 16 millimeters is really wide, so you can create some really cool effects. I'm getting low to the ground and shooting upwards to create this more exaggerated look. Then I tried a fun creative shot where they are all reaching towards the camera and I ended up really liking this effect. After launching the camera app and using the 108 megapixel mode, this allows you to take full advantage of that main sensor. This is really useful for those times when you have a really busy scene going on and you can take one shot of the entire scene. Then in post, you can crop and reframe your shot to create multiple images from that one shot because you're using 108 megapixels. So this is the original photo that I took using that 108 megapixel mode. You can see it's very busy with a lot going on. Now opening up on the device, I will show you how to crop and reframe the shot so you can create multiple images from just that one shot. This first composition works well because you have these people all walking towards the camera and the tight crop allows you to see the details of the subjects better. This next crop focuses on the person walking away from the camera and you can see how reframing the image can improve the composition because you can place them on that rule of thirds grid. This next image is a wide shot of someone crossing the street. Because there are so many megapixels, I can crop in tight on the center of the image and create this better composition where you can see the subject more clearly. 
Another crop could be of just the buildings and the iconic Freedom Tower in the background. Lastly, if you like cars, for example, you can reframe the image to focus only on the car and make that your main subject. So overall, I really enjoy shooting with the Realme 10 Pro Plus. The awesome hardware paired with those cool software features make this a really great street shooter.